So if I were to guess, you're probably interested in owning a projector, but you're still kind of on the fence, or maybe you just want to see what I'm using here at home. Regardless, I understand the appeal of owning a projector versus a large TV because for one, once a TV is mounted, well, it's semi-permanent. And second, with projectors and retractable screens, you're not stuck to just having one size. And not only that, you can pretty much place them anywhere. Um, yeah, I was, I was trying to go for something cool, but I forgot how slow this thing is. Still a good argument for projectors though. With a minor caveat, of course, projectors normally need a very dark room to be remotely usable. But in the recent years, projectors have gotten really, really good in terms of picture quality and even sound. Take, for example, the Nebula Cosmos 4K laser projector by Anchor, which not only has the longest name in the world, but also landed in my top five favorite tech of 2022. So to help you figure out if a projector is right for you, I decided to test this one out against one of Amazon's best-selling projectors, the XGME Horizon Pro 4K projector, which also has a very long name. The Nebula Cosmos 4K laser projector sits at the top of Anchor's line of projectors. The projector comes with its own remote, and although it feels a little cheap, at the very least, they do come with batteries. Also included is this 4K streaming dongle, which you'll have to install here in the back. Why it doesn't come pre-installed, I honestly don't know. Compared to the other projectors I've seen, this is by far the largest, but it does have a top handle, which makes it easier to move around. This projector has controls that are touch sensitive, and this can be a problem in the dark since they only illuminate once you press a button and it's usually the wrong one. Setup was super simple and virtually painless, although I did notice that the autofocus and auto keystone took a little bit longer than expected to engage, but not so long to make the experience terrible. The Nebula 4K laser has two 10 watt full range speakers and two five watt tweeters, making the sound rich and full. There's good sound separation between dialogue and sound effects, and I find that it sounds better than most TV speakers. When it comes to picture quality, the Nebula Cosmos 4K laser has the edge as it uses laser technology. This projector has a maximum brightness of 2400 lumens, which means it can get really, really bright, especially when you're sitting in the dark. The picture quality is, I guess, what you would expect from a laser projector. Very vibrant and crystal clear. As a matter of fact, I've had to reduce the brightness a couple of times before since it was a little too bright when I'm watching at night. Regardless, the amazing picture quality and very good sound make this a great portable home theater in a box. When I first tested this projector last year, I did it outdoors and I was really, really impressed. So I guess it's no surprise to find that Anchor is marketing this projector as the ideal outdoor projector, because I do agree. The Nebula 4K laser is much more expensive than the Horizon Pro at around $2,000. But before we factor price in, let's see what the Horizon Pro is all about. The XGME Horizon Pro is one of Amazon's top-selling 4K projectors, and it seemed like the best candidate to test against the Nebula 4K laser, so I bought it. Interestingly, the Horizon Pro came in a large box that was in a box wrapped in bubble wrap inside another box. So it came as a surprise when I saw how much smaller it actually was. The raised touch control buttons at the top make them easier to locate in the dark. Not that you might be doing much of that anyway, since XGME will send you a nice remote to go with your projector. What they will not send you, however, are batteries. One thing I like about the Horizon Pro is that it's small and light enough to be used with my projector stand. Setup was a breeze as I needed to just plug it in, pair the remote, and make sure it's updated. The Horizon Pro has 40 degrees of auto keystone correction, both horizontal and vertical, and auto screen alignment. What that essentially means is that even if the placement of the projector isn't perfect, the Horizon Pro will automatically adjust to make sure you get the best alignment possible. The Horizon Pro has two 8-watt Harman Kardon speakers built in, and they sound loud, like really loud. I thought they were set to 100%, but apparently they were just around 30. The sound was good, but not great. I would say on par with decent TV speakers, if you consider those type of speakers decent at all, but 
Truthfully, it gets loud enough to fill the entire room and people won't have any problems listening to dialogue or hearing the different sound effects. The picture quality is excellent, bright and crisp and especially vibrant with animated shows or movies. The 3840 by 2160 resolution with 2200 ANSI lumens make it a true 4K projector. The projector runs on the latest version of Android TV, which is decently responsive and supports all of my favorite streaming apps. Well, except for Netflix, which is the biggest downfall of this projector. So if Netflix is your main streaming service, well, you're going to be very disappointed. But from a performance point of view, this makes for a great plug and play compact projector with excellent picture quality and sound for around $1,700 currently. Now let's get to the things that I like and don't like between these two projectors. Obviously, the Horizon Pro is smaller because it has less tech packed in it, which makes it a bit easier to carry around. However, the Nebula does have a top handle and although simple in concept, makes it more comfortable placing it around your environment. I can literally position it with just one hand. However, if one of your top priorities in choosing a projector is the size, I actually have another suggestion for you in a moment. I do like the fact that the Horizon Pro is light enough that I can use my projector stand. The Nebula 4K laser is too heavy, so I had to use a tripod. Although it is worth mentioning that both projectors can sit on just about any regular surface, I just found that using a tripod and a projector stand is much more suitable for my garage home theater setup. The Horizon Pro's screen quality is good. There's no doubt about it whatsoever but you just can't deny that the Nebula's laser technology has a clear advantage in overall brightness and picture quality. This is even more apparent in less than ideal environments like this, where it's kind of bright outside. And this is where you actually see the benefits of laser technology. They look better, they are much more efficient, and they last longer. And while the Nebula Cosmos 4K can project up to 150 inches versus the Horizon Pro's 200 inches, the maximum brightness of the Nebula 4K laser is 200 lumens more than the Horizon Pro's. And when it comes to the speakers, the Horizon Pro won't have any problems filling up a room with sound. But the sound coming from the Nebula 4K laser is simply much fuller and much richer. Both projectors are very easy to set up and have really good autofocus and auto keystone features. However, the Nebula 4K laser has iGuard technology and it's a built-in safety feature that shuts off the projector to avoid eye damage in case someone walks in front of it. If it matters to you, the Horizon Pro has a ton more connections in the back compared to the Nebula. But the other thing that I don't like about the Horizon Pro is this enormous power brick. The Nebula 4K laser keeps things a little bit simpler with the interface as well as the plug. And lastly, the Nebula 4K laser has an app that you can download to control the projector itself. It's so good and easy to use that I don't even use the flimsy remote. The Horizon Pro doesn't have an accompanying app, but it does have a nice remote. You just have to buy batteries for it. So the price is where the Horizon Pro will really win over the Nebula 4K laser. I mean, it is $300 cheaper, which is a big discount. But when the Horizon Pro first came out, it was priced exactly the same as the Nebula 4K laser at $2,200. Now, considering the difference of tech between the two, I would say that the Nebula 4K laser warrants its premium price tag over the Horizon Pro. But occasionally, they do offer discounts, which puts it very close to the price of the Horizon Pro. But if you want to stick to a strict budget, I don't think you'll be upset with the Horizon Pro at all, unless you use Netflix, of course. Earlier, I mentioned that I have another suggestion in case size and portability ranks high on your list. You could go with the various options available in the market today, like Samsung's Freestyle Projector, for example, that I reviewed last year. But even then, that was very underwhelming. Then that's putting it mildly. Well, Anchor sent me a new product to try out, and it's the Capsule 3 Laser Portable Projector. This projector is very small and also uses laser technology to project images onto almost any surface. The Capsule 3 has a maximum brightness of 300 ANSI lumens, making it ideal for use in dimly lit settings. It features a 360 degree speaker system, delivering pretty immersive audio, especially for its size. 
The built-in rechargeable battery provides up to two and a half hours of continuous use, just enough for a full-length feature film. And just like its bigger brother, you can control it using the provided remote or via mobile app. To put it into context, the surprisingly popular Samsung Freestyle projector does not have a built-in battery, nor does it use laser technology. The Freestyle lists its image brightness as 550 lumens, but this is quite misleading. You'll notice that a lot of the newer projectors specify their brightness using the term ANSI lumens. ANSI stands for American National Standards Institute and is used to measure the brightness observed of an image that is projected onto a screen, not the light source. I read somewhere that it was more like 200 ANSI lumens for the freestyle, and that's why when I tested it out last year, I was very much underwhelmed. The two things I will give the freestyle though is that it's easy to change its orientation and position, and that Netflix is supported natively. The Capsule 3 is a single cylindrical piece that doesn't tilt and frustratingly doesn't support Netflix. Again, not necessarily the projector's fault, but man, it's a bummer. I did find a workaround, but if your main streaming service is Netflix, you're going to be quite frustrated when trying to access it. But despite those two things, I really think for the portability and performance, the Capsule 3 is the better choice. Especially if you consider that the price difference between the two currently is only two bucks. And that's without the coupon. And remember, the Freestyle was sold with a whopping $900 price tag when it was first announced. Yikes. So the Nebula 4K laser still remains the best projector for my garage home theater setup, and the Capsule 3 is perfect for traveling and maybe certain ideal outdoor settings. It's not perfect, but when I consider the other options, it totally makes sense. Thanks to Anchor for sending out the Capsule 3, and although they did sponsor the projector, my thoughts and opinions are completely of my own. I hope I've given you enough insight to consider whether a projector is for you and which ones to choose. I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel as this helps me create more content. And don't forget to hit that bell icon because there's more to come and the year's just getting started. See you soon.